Hi, I'm Charlotte from the UCID Biomod team, and in this series of videos, we're going to be explaining the science behind our project. First, let's talk DNA origami. So everybody knows that DNA contains genes, the biological instructions that make you, you. And most people also have an idea of what DNA looks like, something like this. You've probably heard that shape referred to as the double helix. Many people think the double helix structure of DNA is a single rigid unit, sort of like a ladder or a piece of spiral pasta. But in reality, DNA is more like two ropes or strands twisted together, and these strands can be separated. A single strand of DNA without a partner is, unsurprisingly, called single-stranded DNA. So if it's possible for DNA to unpeel into single strands, What's keeping those strands together in the double helix structure we all know? To answer this question, we need to look a little closer at those strands. Each strand of DNA is made up of a series of individual units strung together. Those individual units are called bases, and there are four different types, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. These bases don't just stack together vertically along the length of each DNA strand, but can also pair up with other bases on a nearby strand, and this pairing is the key to the double helix shape. Think of the bases as four differently shaped puzzle pieces. The pieces can connect by slotting together, but only if their shapes match. Similarly, bases can only pair if their shapes, that is, their chemical structures, are compatible. For that reason, the base A always pairs with T, and G always pairs with C. They are complementary bases. If you want to make a double helix out of a single strand of DNA, it's really very simple. All you need is a second strand of DNA whose sequence of bases is complementary. In every place where the first strand has an A, its partner must have a T. In every place where the first strand has a C, its partner needs a G, and vice versa. When you bring those two strands together, the complementary bases pair up and bond, and you get a double helix. That's the way nature uses bases to make double helix DNA. But in the lab, you can actually do much more. Let's imagine you have a long single strand of DNA. Now you create short fragments of DNA that are complementary to small portions of your strand. These short fragments are called staples. When a staple bonds to its complementary region, the strand is forced to fold around it. If you repeat that process in many places along your strand of DNA, you start to generate complicated folded shapes. When DNA is folded like this, it's called DNA origami. With careful design, you can actually manipulate that single strand of DNA to fold into pretty much any shape you want. Amazingly, that includes shapes that have medical applications, boxes that deliver drugs directly to cancer cells, nanorobots that navigate to a certain part of the body when injected, and our creation, a bacterial killer that can replace antibiotics. This is the DNA alien. Stay tuned for our next video to find out more about what we're creating out of DNA. And don't forget to like DNA aliens on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.